Today's topic is near and dear to my heart. We're going to be talking about Archangel Michael. As many of you know, when I was deceived and I was a new age heretic, I was teaching wrongly about Michael. I was teaching about idolatry. I didn't know it. Um, I was teaching about uh, Archangel Michael as a personal angel. And we're going to be talking to an expert on Michael because he has a PhD in Hebrew Bible from the University, ironically, of St. Michael's College in Toronto. He received his bachelor's and master's degree in biblical studies from the University of Haifa, uh, in Israel, and he's a Messianic Jew. He knows the biblical languages, and he teaches at Moody Bible Colleges, as well as other uh, seminaries around the world. Will you please join me in welcoming Dr. Eagle German? Thank you so much for being with us today, Dr. German. Thank you so much, Doreen. It's my pleasure. I really um, have so many regrets that I taught about Archangel Michael um, I wrote about him. I supposedly channeled messages from him. You can see some of the cards that I made with him. Um, I, it, that wasn't the Michael of the Bible, was it? No, not at all. Not at all. What do you think about the practice that people have about personally calling on Archangel Michael for personal individual protection? I think it's, it's a very clear example of paganism and idolatry. If I have a question... Uh, it's basically directly tapping into the occult. You are now creating a relationship not with the Lord, not with the one true living God, but with the unknown spiritual world. And you are not going to communicate with the one that you are calling to. to. You are going to communicate with a false spirit that is going to, to introduce himself as the one that you are calling to. And he's going to deceive you and is going to lead you right into destruction. Mm -hmm. So this practice is totally prohibited by God. In God's eyes, it's an abomination, just like all the occult practices that are listed in Deuteronomy chapter 18 and in the book of Leviticus chapter 19. We are to run away from this, just like uh, the apostle John warned the believers in 1 John chapter 5, run away from idolatry. Wow, that's really powerful. And I just want to say for anyone watching, I'm so sorry that I taught wrongly about Michael and I have repented and I renounce any old Archangel Michael teachings. Um, the Bible is our source of truth. As Dr. German is emphasizing, we need to compare everything to scripture. And you can even go on BibleGateway.com and type in Michael and you can see the references to him. And nowhere in there are there individuals invoking Michael for personal protection. It's just not there. And so as Dr. German just warned us, to do so is paganism. It's a cult, it's new age, and we need to uh, avoid that, mark and avoid that. Exactly, exactly. It's, it's just like many of the practices that are practiced out in the church, like being slain in the spirit or the whole, holy lawfare, you know, the Toronto blessing, uh, name it, call it, claim it, all those diff different versions of this. It all has one spiritual root. It's not the Holy Spirit. It's not the Spirit of Christ. And that's why the Lord calls us to be very discerning. Discernment is such a great gift from the Lord. And we have to seek the Lord and, and ask him to be very discerning in this time. It doesn't mean that we have to be cruel and harsh and mean to other people. Not at all. We have to be loving and compassionate. But at the same time, not compromising the truth of Scripture. Yeah. Not at any cost. Um, in a nutshell, um, we have several references to Michael the Archangel in the Bible. We have a reference or maybe two references in the book of Daniel, in chapter 10, in chapter 12. Basically, those are the references that we have in the Old Testament. And then we have all the rest of the references to Michael the Archangel in the New Testament. Specifically, we have a reference in the letter of Jude, in First Thessalonians chapter 4 and the book of Revelation chapter 12. So it's all about five references. So when we study those references and relate the occurrences of this spiritual being, Michael, or Michael in Hebrew, or Archangel in Hebrew, Sar Amal Achim, we see very clearly that it's one of God's spiritual creatures created by the Lord Jesus Christ himself. He is a created spiritual being, along with Gabriel, 
along with other great spiritual mighty warriors of the Lord. We know that the Lord is the Lord of hosts. It's one of God's names, Yahweh Tzvaot, the God of armies, the God of hosts. And he is the commander of all those hosts, God himself. And God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So we should not confuse one of God's spiritual beings with God himself. The Lord is God. He created all those spiritual powers and beings and all those authorities. We read about this very clearly in Colossians chapter 1. It's written that the Lord Jesus Christ is the creator of all the powers and authorities. And all the, and everything that is seen and unseen is the great doxology of Colossians. It's very clear. So Amen. we have no reasons to, to, to doubt the identity of Michael the Archangel. He's one of the archangels. There are more archangels. He's not the only one. Mm -hmm. and, that's, and, 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 and that's a very important point because those cults that I mentioned, the Seventh-day Adventists and the, and the JWs, they actually teach that Michael the archangel is the only archangel. He is the, the archangel. They don't see it in the scripture. There are other archangels. And this archangel is not Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ created him. Mm -hmm. So how we can say that he's the same one? It's very clear that he is a, a, a loyal spirit to God. According to Daniel, we see that he's, he's the one who, uh, who um, takes charge over the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. And he's the one who also take play, play a major role in the first resurrection from the dead and the rapture, First Thessalonians chapter 4. Mm -hmm. And also in the spiritual war that will, will take place in the heavenlies, Revelation chapter 12, against Satan. Mm 